Okay, we're going to do our country roads version that's more difficult. So we are going to figure out how it's going to work. We're going to put in a baseline. So uh, we're doing this Carter style baseline with a flat pick. Fifth string, hit the chord. Now in the book they're asking you to hit those three high strings. If you add it in the fourth string, it's not going to make or break anything. And then down to the sixth string. So go fifth string, A, sixth string, fifth string, sixth string. So what's happening here, this is an A major chord, and then this is an A note on the fifth string, and then this is an E note on the sixth string. So I get this one, five, one, five. It's this very much Carter style country application rhythm that's kind of awesome actually. Okay, so we're going from E, and these patterns are always going to remain the same. Sorry, I meant to say A, we're going from A. To an F sharp minor, so here's my F sharp minor bar chord, and I'm going to hit my 6th string first, and my 5th string. And then for my E major, 6th string first. And then my fifth string. Then we go to a D. For D, we're gonna hit this fourth string. You can do this walk down bass line if you wanted to. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it, but that's cool if you try. So we're gonna go open. So that D again, we got fourth string. on the fifth string to open. So we're essentially going back to an A. And then you'd start that whole thing over again. Uh, in the G section, which is the only chord we haven't covered, we're going to go and hit sixth string, fifth string. Or you can also hit 6th string, 4th string, which would be a G and a D instead of G and a B. It oftentimes doesn't sound quite right to have a 1-3 bass line, so we're going to probably go 1-5, which would be G, D. But if you, you know, grabbed it late, because it really only comes in every once in a while, um, in the bridge we have 1 G in the whole tune. It shows up just in the bridge once, so yeah, whatever. You could even not do that on that chord if you wanted to. And if you ever fall behind on the on the sort of Carter style strumming, then that's fine. Just pick it back up. Get it. Get your fingers underneath you, and then when you're ready, just. That's it. So this is going to be the hard version. We're going to try to piece it to all together and uh, get a sweet, sweet bass line going. It should be kind of fun. The good part is, is we get this bass uh, vamp to practice on at the beginning of the tune because it has the intro and it's repeated two times. Mm -hmm.